Welcome to EDUU 606 Seminar on Learning Theory. This PowerPoint is designed to give you an overview of the course and its content. The purpose of this course is to develop an understanding of how the brain works and explore different theories of learning and their application to the classroom. The way this course is structured is as follows. We'll begin the term by looking at the neuro neurosciences and the physiology of learning. That will be followed by a study of the behavioral and cognitive theories of learning, theories of motivation and intelligence, and throughout the term we'll focus on classroom applications of all of these theories. So what exactly is a theory? A theory is an integrated statement of principles that attempts to explain a phenomenon and make predictions. In the case of a learning theory, a theorist must have an explicit set of assumptions that they believe about a phenomenon, explicit definitions of key terms, specific testable propositions or principles, and of course the theory needs to address underlying psychological dynamics of learning. Who develops theories of learning? Behavioral psychologists do, as do cognitive psychologists and social psychologists. And perhaps in the near future, neuroscientists will contribute to theories of learning. Key concepts for this course are the following. There are many different theories of learning. Theories often focus on different aspects of learning. In this course, for example, we'll be looking at theories that focus on how the learner processes information the cognitive development of the learner, how the social environment impacts learning, and how beliefs impact learning. In this course, we'll begin with the present and then go back in time. So we'll start our focus with the decade of the brain and the neurosciences, and then go back in time to study behavioral theories, cognitive developmental and social cognitive theories, as well as theories of motivation and intelligence.